Well, Eugene, what's the plan today? What are you thinking? All right, today we're going to sit in a, a different spot. Okay. Uh, which is actually the same spot we were yesterday, but the wind wasn't terrible. So after we left, sent the guys out to, to put us a, a pop-up line on a different direction. It's a good area for, for eland, zebra, kudu. So um, the first decent animal that comes in, we'll, we'll take the opportunity on. Sounds like the plan to me. We sat here yesterday and the wind was in the wrong direction. Like you said, we had a lot of animals come in here yesterday. We spooked about yeah. the wind of this. If you scan over to this blind over here, look at this blind that he set up. You have to step backwards a little bit and look at this blind. So you can already see it's a blind because it's in a little dark hole. And that's it. So all right, well, let's get in there and uh, let's see what happens. Ten minutes ago, we just shot a big eland. I, I mean, huge. That was nice. Yeah. He, he goes eland, and I, I, at first I thought, why eland? I looked over there, and out of the little crack of one of the windows, I could see this monster coming in. I mean, this thing had a big old dark mane on it, big black face, and I think I made a good shot on him. You think so? It looked like a perfect shot. Um, the situation was perfect. A little bit quartering away. It looked like you hit him right in the crease behind the shoulder. I, th I think we have a daily limit. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Always wanted to kill one of these monsters. Well, I got one now, I hope. We ain't got him on the ground yet, but we called in one of the trackers, and between these two guys, I mean, we are going to find this thing, so I'm not concerned at all. These guys can track caterpillars across rock piles, so and this is a big animal, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, look at this. This is where he stood right here. Well, we got on the track here. We've taken it probably, I'm guessing, at least 100 yards already. Yeah, I could have asked for a better shot than I made. Um, the trackers are still on it up here. We're still on track, so stay with us, and hopefully before long I can show you a big event. Look at the size of this thing, dude! Come on, my man! Good tracking, guys! Look at the size of this thing! Oh my gosh, it looks like an elephant! Look at the size of this guy. Well, I'll tell you what, I'd love to give a great thanks, man, to PJ Safari. Uh, you guys have some great animals here, man. We've seen some nice animals this week. We worked a little hard, but you can see the weather was had, had a lot to do with it, the wind. Um, i tell you what, I really enjoyed it, too. I really did. Thank you very much for inviting us out. And uh, I don't know what to say, man. I'm, just, I'm, at, I'm beside myself. I'm excited. Thank you very much. Like I said, if anybody interested in coming out here to PJ Safari, you can look them up on my website, racksandtracks.net, 
And I tell you what, you won't regret coming out. It is a lot of fun. He's got a lot of animals. He's got some huge country out here. So thank you again. Thank you, Ray. Hi everybody, Ray Colvin from Racks and Tracks TV. We sure hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We sure hope you enjoyed today's video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next week, I'm Ray Colvin and we'll see you right here on Racks and Tracks.